We start out by taking our text tool, making a little text box right here, and type in sun, sky, and sea. All right, make this a little bigger, maybe a hundred points, and make it a nice big font so we can add some pictures in it. Perfect. Now we've got it as text. It's editable now, but we want it to be kind of like an image so we can add things in it. So we go to type, go to create outlines. And now you have outlines of the text. They're all grouped together. What you do is you right click and you ungroup them. Perfect. Now we've got these groups separately. Sea, sky, and sun. I'm gonna undo that. Okay, we'll start out with sun. We click on it, control D to place an image in this text. And we'll click on this nice image right here, open. And what it does, it opens it up really, really big. What we want to do is double click it. You'll see you get this little hand icon, but you don't know how big the image is. So you do control minus, minus, minus until you see this orange block. What you do then is you press shift and alt together so that you can transform it and it'll be anchored in the center. Shift alt transform and you make it smaller. And then I'll zoom back in to see what I'm doing. And with this little hand, you move it. So we've got the sun positioned right here. It's good enough. I'm happy with it. You press W so you can view what you made and how it actually looks. Now we've, we'll do the exact same thing with sky. Click on sky, control D, Add an image, this image is nice. It adds really big, again, I'll press W so we can see what we're doing. Double click, hand appears again, control minus minus, shift alt, drag them. So now we're keeping that image nicely in proportion. Control plus plus, and I'll move this a bit more down. Perfect. Click away. With the C, we can do the exact same thing, but I remember here with this sun picture, we have a nice C down here. So what I did is I double click on this. So I'll have this orange box, control C to copy the image. Then I press C here, right click, paste into. And then it will paste into this. And as we see, it pasted up here. So what we then do is we double click and we see it's all the way up here. Well, we make sure we find this little hand and we drag it down. Perfect. Now we've got the C in there as well. Click away, press W to see what you're doing. Um, maybe you can see these little black lines around it. It's not very noticeable, but we can remove that easily by selecting them all and the text was black. So then we go here and add none and the subtle black lines that were around this disappeared. This is how you add an image in text. How you can make it extra cool is you click on it and you can add an effect, an inner shadow. So you add that, you can add that by going to this effects panel right here or object effects inner shadow, we'll click that. And then we have the inner shadow selected. Make sure you got your preview on so you can see what you're doing. I'll change the offset to zero on the X and the Y axes, and we'll make it a little less black. There we go. Press okay. So now you've got this subtle, um, inner shadow that'll make your text kind of like pop out of the page or feel like it's in the page. What you do then is you click on text again, you 
open your little effects tab and what you see here you've got this effect and you can drag it onto the other ones see there we go drag it onto them then you don't have to do the same thing for all of them then you have it all at once i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you at the next one